Well, we felt, I think, since the beginning that one of the biggest problems that we have in the international recruitment system today is the lack of controls that exist at the international level. So you have controls at the national level of companies that are doing recruitment, but uh, those controls do not apply in other, uh, in other countries. And as a result of that, there is uh, a lot of abuse that happens and mismatch that happens uh, uh, consequently. So we found out that a lot of the exploitation of migrant workers happens through that way. Uh, and uh, we started thinking about how to address that problem, uh, a problem that not only affects the people, but also affects the countries and the companies that want to do um, ethical work. We started talking with different stakeholders to see whether there was a, an appetite for such a system. There is certainly a, a, a better understanding today of the importance that labor migration has in the totality of migration. We talk about 244 million migrants, uh, 150 of which are, are migrant workers. Uh, so certainly if, if we manage to address uh, decent work conditions uh, for the migrant workers, uh, we have done a lot of progress into the Global Compact that is trying basically to achieve safe, regular, and orderly migration. We came out with the IRIS, that is a voluntary certification uh, system that is basically uh, will eventually uh, in the future ensure that the companies that had this certification system uh, are uh, committed to a series of principles that are ethical principles about recruitment, uh, the, the, the most important of which is the, uh, the employer's uh, pace principle. Because part of the problems that we have seen is that a lot of the abuse of international workers happens because uh, they get into uh, very important debt bondages in order to pay uh, for getting the jobs. And on that basis, and with those standards, then we can incorporate that into the Global Compact. They, they have been accepted by everybody in a certain way, so we can talk about basic standards for international workers.